Earlier this week, I invited you to join the conversation online about uh, President Obama's health care law through both Facebook and our Twitter page. Uh, and I'd like to take a minute to share some of those stories with you. We have accumulated almost 15,000 pages of data. I'm just not sure whether to continue investing. Do I hire another person? Things are just kind of up in the air and you just don't know what to do. But what we're concerned about is the uncertainty that we face in the future. My customers have uncertainty and they don't purchase. Due to the uncertainty over just what Obamacare would do. I have an uncertainty so I don't buy equipment. We will not be hiring anybody in the near future because of the uncertainty. Uh, I have uncertainty so I'm not sure when to hire. I don't know where all this is going to land. There's a the potential to remove the, the decision making from the patients and from the doctors. So you've got no competition. And if you're eliminating doctors groups and small hospitals because they can't afford to compete. You could have shortages of doctors. You could have uh, longer waiting times. Serious concerns about uh, how this uh, will impact my kids and my grandchildren. I'm Drew Reeves and I'm with Horizon Screen Printing in Cape Girardeau, Missouri. I'm Richard Aulis uh, with Aulis and Company. Michael Simmons, I practice ear, nose, and throat uh, surgery in Jefferson City, Missouri. My name is Paul Summers. My name is Tony Drummond. I'm an insurance broker. Jane Perry, and I'm a registered nurse with 33 years experience. Raymond Crane. Dean Rundy with uh, Platte Valley. Master Tech repairs plumbing, heating, and cooling uh, equipment uh, throughout central Missouri. This bill is an absolute tip of the iceberg in comparison to what the end result will be. We're going to increase cost uh, and frankly increase the complexity that we're dealing with. It's really holding back our, our small businesses from expanding from a job standpoint. They don't know whether they should or shouldn't. They don't know what that cost is going to be. They don't know how much that's going to hinder them or, or what the, the outcome is going to be. So it's, it's really got businesses that could expand in a, in a holding pattern. And the main reason for that is we don't know what the costs are going to be mandated guidelines. To me, that means increased cost. And cost could be drastic. Well, I got a notice that the uh, cost for health insurance was going to go up 26 percent. Who's going to pay for that? It's going to be me as a small business owner. And those are the ones that I think they've forgotten about. It's going to impact us greatly. If an employee makes a choice of going to the exchange for coverage, the employer is going to be penalized. There's going to be a whole lot of businesses that are going to drop private health insurance and pay the penalties and their folks are going to be put on the public exchanges. In the state of Missouri there's roughly 26,000 agents and their staffs that will be out of business. And it takes the, the concern of the patient care away from the doctor and the patient. Well, I don't want somebody coming in and telling me what doctor I can use. So I'm really frightened what care I can get or when I can get it. Decisions in my health care to be between me and my doctor. The hospital is going to get larger and larger. The people that we talk to on a daily basis won't have anybody that are really experts in the insurance business to talk to. They all tell me it's because of the changes in the health care program. It's the reason my health care has gone up at this point. And as far as how far this thing is off from the original budget, it's scary. Everybody's going to lose. Everybody. It, it just cannot go the way it is. The whole premise of the bill was that nobody really knows what's in it. The Speaker of the House at the time said, we're going to have to pass this thing so we can find out what's in it. And as the process is, is uh, feeding itself out, we're seeing that it's more and more distasteful. The employers at this point would just wish this thing would go away. Well, with higher health care premiums, increased federal spending, greater uncertainty for job creators, it's not surprising that the president's health care plan has become more and more unpopular the more people found out about it. We have to fix our broken health care system. There's no doubt about that. And that's why I fought to repeal this bill and replace it with common sense reforms that would put doctors and patients first, doctors and patients in control of health care, not Washington bureaucrats. We've got to do the right thing for people's health care, not the wrong thing.